Welcome to another SCP reading, everyone. Today we have SCP-126, Invisible Friend. Now, without further ado... Item number, SCP-126, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. 126 is kept within a standard Euclid-class humanoid containment cell despite not having needs consistent with that of a normal human or any kind of nourishment, as this environment has proven the most effective in keeping 126 contained. In case of a containment breach, acoustic sensors embedded within 126's containment cell as well as the entire wing in which 126's cell is housed can be used to locate 126. Firm but polite verbal requests for 126 to return to its cell are to be given until it complies. Personnel interacting with 126 must undergo regular psychiatric screening and personnel exhibiting emotional attachment to 126 must be administered a Class B amnestic and reassigned. Description 126 is an invisible and intangible entity that can only be identified via sound. 126 is sentient with the ability to speak in multiple languages in a female voice and engage in conversations with any subject within range. To date, no method by which 126 can be visually detected has been devised as 126 does not appear to emit any kind of light, radiation, heat, or electromagnetic energy. 126 does appear to occupy an area as evidenced by the ability to triangulate its suggested location via its voice. 126 also emits sound when moving consistent with footsteps made by a human subject wearing high heels with a mass of approximately 55 to 60 kilograms. Though no depressions can be seen in any floor materials and pressure sensors do not register any kind of presence. 126 cannot pass through barriers that would prevent a normal human subject from passing, such as a closed door. But solid objects can be pushed through the space it occupies without any effect. For unknown reasons, 126 will comply with any request for it to follow a specific human subject or move to a specific location without question, though it may move away afterwards or if it is not able to physically comply with the request. 126 will engage in conversation with any personnel within its containment cell, preferring topics such as art, nature, and philosophy. 126 exhibits knowledge of current topics and intelligence consistent with that of a college graduate, as well as a modern attention deficit disorder. 126 will regularly change language without reason and stray off topic while conversing without warning. Attempts to question 126 about its origin or nature have been unsuccessful as 126 becomes confused when presented with such questions and will quickly stray away from the topic. Despite not appearing to use or need any furniture or appliances, 126 will request such items as a bed, dresser, mirror, and other sundries if not present, and is more likely to stay within a room if such items are available. A small number of personnel exhibit anomalous behavior after engaging in conversation with 126, including, but not limited to, believing that they have known 126 for many years, and that 126 is a close friend or loved one. If not treated, these subjects will begin to ignore basic needs in order to continue conversing with 126, eventually dying from dehydration or starvation. 126 was discovered in a suburban home in... Data Redacted after several reports of the house being haunted. A Foundation containment team was able to quickly locate 126 and, after conversing for several minutes, convinced 126 to enter a mobile containment unit, which was used to transfer it to a local Foundation containment site. Addendum 126-01 Researcher Note To date, conversations with SCP-126 have yielded several notable personality traits. SCP-126 is mildly arachnophobic and will move away from any specimens introduced to its cell. SCP-126 exhibits a desire to assist with any task which it believes it can be of help, despite being unable to manipulate objects. SCP-126 prefers to converse with male subjects and exhibit humor and intelligence. SCP-126 expresses a desire to have children and has conversed with staff on several occasions regarding childcare methodology. SCP-126 has the ability to fluently speak English, French, German, Portuguese, Spanish, and at least three other unknown languages. Doctor. Data Redacted. Senior Researcher. An intriguing SCP, if ever there was one. So many questions left that will not be answered, for there are no stories. Thank you for coming, everyone, and good luck out there.